For our dolphin, we'll be using three 260s, two light blue, one with about a three and a half inch to four inch tail, one with about an inch and a half tail on it, and then a white with about an inch and a half to two inch tail left on it. We're going to start with the shorter of the blues, that is the one with the longer tail. Starting from the nozzle end, I should have trimmed that better, trim that really close, then make about an inch and a half bubble, then make about a half inch bubble, make that into a pinch twist, another half inch bubble, make that into a pinch twist as well. So you've got two pinch twists there. Position, position them on opposite sides of the balloon just like that. Now you're going to make about a two inch bubble and then we're going to make two more pinch twists. So make the first half inch bubble, make it into a pinch twist. Another half inch bubble, make that into a pinch twist as well. Now what we're going to do is make another bubble the same size as this one. So I'm just going to lay it alongside there. And then once I got that, I want to twist that into these first two pinch twists, so it's coming back up alongside the first one. And twist it in just like that. And then I need one more, but when I make this last one, I'm going to make it slightly skinnier. I'm going to squeeze some air out, and then lay it back alongside the first two, and twist it back into the two pinch twists in the back. And that's going to be our dolphin's head. Now for his body. You can use the full length of this if you want, but you need to make sure you've got enough room for two pinch twists in it. I'm going to go about 12 or 14 inches back, make a half inch bubble, make my first pinch twist, make another half inch bubble, make my second pinch twist, and then it's not exactly the same, it's not a big deal. Just come along and measure how long you want it to be. You want this bubble to be the same size as that one. Now I'm going to remove this excess, tie it off, and then I'm going to take that and twist it into the two bubbles on the back of our dolphin's head. Just like that. And there's the start of our dolphin's body. Now we're going to take our second blue, and what you want to do is you're going to go back about four inches or so, so it's not quite halfway into this, but about a third into it. So about a three to four, about a four inch bubble, and you're going to make a half inch bubble, make that into a pinch twist, and then give it a good squeeze to squeeze the air almost out to the end, and then bring the end of it that you have left over and twist it into that pinch twist. should have a large loop. What you're going to do for this loop, we're going to get our dorsal fin and our two pectoral fins. So I'm going to come not quite halfway. I want one of them larger than the other two. That's going to be our pectoral or dorsal fin, excuse me. Twist off a loop like that. And then you want to take this second bubble that you have and you're going to just twist it, divide it into two equal bubbles. These will be as pectoral fins. There we go. Just like that. And then give it a little shake. Then you're just going to take the nozzle here and twist it into the two pinch twists at the back of his head. Just like that. And then once you turn that and poke the larger of those three loops up in through the body portion there. Now we're going to take our white and squeeze it so it's a little bit soft. What I want to do here is I'm going to make two fold twists that are going to be as back tails, as flippers or flukes. So I'm going to make about, oh, what is that, about a 10 inch bubble there. Make another 10 inch bubble. Twist those two together. Pull that knot through to lock it and then just pull those down to make two fold twists there. Then you want to take those two fold twists and attach them to the two pinch twists at the very back of our dolphin. Walk 
them in with those two pinch twists that we have back there. And straighten them all up like that. Okay, now once you've got those on, we can straighten them up a little better in a moment. You're going to take what you have left of that white, run it up along the body underneath until you get to the two pinch twists that are up in the front. And then twist that in there. Now you've got a couple of options here. If you want, you can just break this excess white off and draw eyes on here. Or if you want to add some white eyes, you take and get to squeeze this really, really soft. And then squeeze a small, skinny, skinny bubble up alongside his head from that back up to these front pinch twists here. But you want it to be really small and soft. So it's going to thin out. Twist into those two pinch twists up front. And then by squeezing the air up into the middle of it, it can cause that middle to bulge a little bit and get sort of an eye effect. And then we'll do the same on the other side. Get it good and soft. And then secure the rest of it by wrapping it around. And we're going to pop this excess off. Secure that loose end. Now let's straighten this head up a little bit. See if we can shift this side so you can see what I'm talking about. So tuck the ends up inside there a little bit and then sort of squeeze up into the middle like that. You see what I'm talking about. And I'll just draw the eye on this side so you can see where we're going. And a little blow hole on top. Straighten his fins out on the back. And there's your dolphin.